Hello, welcome back to Beer Vlog. I am back. I got a new camera, got some good beers, and uh, got longer hair, fuller beard, and I'm ready to rock. Um, I'm actually not doing a review today, just here to tell you I'm back. I'm going to show you some things I'm going to be doing uh, in the upcoming, uh, coming week, week and a half or so, maybe maybe a little longer, I need to stretch them out maybe. Um, I'm going to give you a little quick one today, I'm just here to say hi. I uh, missed you guys in the community, um, and uh, I'm ready to get back to things. Hopefully this uh, new camera will help improve my taste. <laughs> Alright, so <clears throat> let's take a look at some of these new beers. Um, maybe we'll be able to do some, uh, some shots elsewhere already. We're doing another shot, you know, not sitting in front of a computer. I can put this on my new uh, webcam on my laptop and go elsewhere, so see what I can do with that. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. Victory Hop, oh, not the Hop Devil, the uh, Wild Devil. That's going to be awesome. Uh, so it's uh, Victory took the traditional Hop Devil, revamped it. Um, it's up to 6.7 uh, ABVs. So, and it's bottle conditioned, so that should be awesome. Oh, also looking forward to this Allagash Black Belgian style uh, stout. Interesting. Um, 7.5 um, ABVs. Open, caut open cautiously as contents are under pressure. Gives you a little pour slowly into wide uh, mouth glass. So. I already told you what to drink it out of. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Dog who said. Shati. Now, I saw some videos with, uh, of them brewing this. Um, so it's an old Finnish, 9th century Finnish recipe for Shati. Um, you know, they grew with uh, rye and juniper in the heat, and they heat the wood with fire stone rocks, uh, or wood-fired rocks, uh, and a black chai uh, tea taste, I guess I sort of spelled like that. Uh, but I have a little quick one for you today. I'm actually going to do a, I guess I'll do a review. Uh, nothing special. Uh, anybody living in um, southeastern Pennsylvania, up to Lehigh Valley, and maybe, maybe all over the coast now, east coast, you might know about this. Uh, it's nothing special to me. It tasted good about 10 years ago. And um, you can go into any bar pretty much uh, in the, uh, anywhere from in the Philadelphia area, Lehigh Valley, Delaware, Maryland, Jersey. And you go into a bar, you order a lager. They'll give you this. That's right. It's the America's oldest brewery, Yingling and Sons. All right, traditional lager. It's a uh, like I said for me. I, I haven't had one in a long time because it was about it was good about ten years ago. I'm just gonna pour it in a tumbler, regular pint glass. Um, you know, uh, it was one of those you know good ten years ago, but you don't know it anymore. Um, We'll see. I'll give it a good honest rating. Right off the bat, to, uh, you know, it's got green, the green glass skunk to it. Followed by a little bit of a uh, little bit of hops. Um, slight, slightly sweet, but slightly turned as stuff does. Unless you, no matter what you get out of the green bottle. So here we go. and, uh, you know, translucent, almost transparent. Um, a nice amber, to, you know, dark copper color. Nice, uh, nice foamy head. 
just more of what you smelled, except it opened up a little bit more. Um, bigger bubbles, you know, like soapy, real soapy looking uh, top, sudsy. Um, Alright, first beer ever made in America. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> it's not bad. It's um, it's decently refreshing. Um, it surprisingly doesn't have that metal taste uh, that, to me, over the past several years, Yingling has been known to have, and I generally avoid it like a plague. But this one's not too bad. Um, somebody gave it to me uh, for my birthday in a little, uh, you know, uh, microbrew thing. Is this isn't this? This to me is not a microbrew, but it's not bad. Um, uh, I don't don't spend a lot of money on it. You know, I wouldn't spend nearly as much if you if you if you're into Sam Adams. Sam Adams is probably still better, although it's the same. If you look at it, same kind of look. I mean, the head the head's already pretty much gone. You got a decent head on it, but that's gone. It's still effervescent. Drinkability, you know, drinkability. Mouthfeel is. Just tastes like a, just tastes like a lager, you know. Not much you can say about it. Straight ahead, um, decent, but to me it's not worth the money. I'd rather, if I'm if I'm gonna not spend money and get a beer out, I'm gonna get Budweiser American Ale because it's just it's just better. But you know, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'm looking forward to. Whole bunch of more reviews coming out. Um, sorry about the hiatus, but I'm back. Here's to you.